I would like to recognize any guests that have taken part in Kids San Antonio. We have deep gratitude to each one of them for helping us in this journey to reach this important milestone. We want to recognize the members of Kip San Antonio Public Schools and the leadership team, as well as our board members. In addition, we are honored to have with us members of our current and past teaching faculty. Teachers, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. All current or past teachers, board members, leadership members, or any staff faculty member from Kip San Antonio, please stand up. Me gustaría reconocer a todos los invitados que han participado de alguna manera en ayudarnos en nuestro camino para alcanzar este importante largo. Tenemos un profundo gratitud hacia cada una de ustedes igual con la que sería reconocer a los miembros del equipo de liderazgo de las escuelas públicas que se han así como nuestros miembros de la junta directiva. Además, nos honra tener con nos, nosotros los miembros de nuestra facultad de enseñanza actual y anterior. Maestros, gracias desde el fondo de nuestros corazones. Hi, my name is Preston Lopez, and I am a senior in class of 2020, and today I'll be saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please stand for a moment of silence. Hi, my name is Eric Kamandi, and I'd like to take a moment to recognize any guests that have taken part in the KIPP Texas San Antonio. We have deep gratitude to each and one of them for helping us throughout our journey to reach this important milestone. We want to recognize members from KIPP Texas Public School leadership team as well as our board members. In addition, we are very honored to have with us members of our current and past teaching faculty, teachers. Thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts. All current and past teachers, board members, leadership members, or any staff members of KIPP San Antonio. Thank you. Hola, me llamo Linda Saucedo y quiero tomar un momento para reconocer a todos los estudiantes a pesar de todos los obstáculos que se interpusieron en nuestro camino lo hemos logrado. Nuestros esfuerzos no van a ser en vano. También creo que tenemos que ser agradecidos por todos aquellos en nuestras vidas que nos ayudaron a conseguir este logro tan importante. A nuestras familias, a los que han cuidado de nosotros, a los que nos han guiado y han estado ahí en las buenas y en las malas. A los que nos dan razón de seguir adelante. Me gustaría honrar a nuestra facultad de enseñanza. Maestros, muchísimas gracias por empujarnos hasta el límite. Gracias por creer en nosotros, aunque ya habíamos perdido la esperanza. Gracias desde el fondo de nuestros corazones. No se olviden que somos luchadores. Es hora de demostrarle al mundo de lo que somos capaces. Felicidades, clases del 2020. Últimos. Hello classmates, parents, teachers, administrators, supporters, and family members of the class of 2020. Welcome to the KIPP University Prep virtual graduation ceremony. I, like many seniors graduating today, have grown up at KIPP, and I've learned a lot in these last eight years. One of my favorite lessons centers around success. For the longest time, success to me was about being number one. I felt like I had to make the highest grades, learn everything effortlessly, and do it all without help. However, as the curriculum got harder, I had to stop relying on talent. Where I lacked in natural skills, I had to make up for with persistence and dedication. That is when I learned that hard work beats talent. The class of 2020 is like no other. We are a class that was born after 9-11, a class that had to get used to gun violence and inequality, a class that's grown up in a time of social media and ever-changing technology, a class that had no say in the 2016 election, and we're a class that's graduating amidst a pandemic, not to mention transitioning to college in what's been the craziest year that we've ever known. Yet, on top of all of this, we are IB students. Some of us IB students with a job, some of us IB student athletes. We've been through a lot and we've had our fair share of hard work. So to my classmates, 
I can't pretend to know what each of y'all are going through during this time, but I do know that graduating today is an achievement all on its own. IB and the world didn't take it easy on us, and there were probably times when you wanted to give up, but here you are, graduating. Over these past four years, we've built relationships that will last a lifetime. Whether you were on a sports team, school club, or organization, part of the arts community, or a part of a friend group that gave themselves a name, we're all family, and I'm proud to be part of a class so outgoing and special. As a piece of advice, whenever you're struggling or you feel like you can't do something, Remember that you have friends and family, but also remember that you went through IB and you're graduating in the midst of a pandemic. Nothing can stop you. And now, without further ado, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce the principal of Kip University Prep and one of her many black dresses, the one, the only, Ms. Garland. Good evening, graduates, families, guests. Bienvenidos a nuestra escuela, Kip University Prep High School. We're so honored to have you joining us. At UPrep, we often talk about the importance of team and family. We know that without our team, without our family, we cannot achieve. Today, you have achieved. Today is a success. You win today. Today represents the end of one journey and the beginning of another. Today, you receive your high school diploma. But this achievement is not only yours, it is also the achievement of your family. It is the achievement of your parents, your mom and your dad, your family, those who changed your diapers, warmed your bottles, held you as you cried in the middle of the night after waking up from a scary dream, cooked you meal after meal, picked you up when you fell off of your bike, dropped you off for that first day of kindergarten, and during this past couple months have taken the time to be not just your first teachers in those days when you were learning to talk and learning to walk, but are also your last teachers here at the end of 12th grade, uh, when you learn at home, on a laptop, on your phones, on an iPad, you started with your family and you have ended with your family. Today, we celebrate not just you, but also them. We acknowledge the sacrifices that they have made so that you could see this moment. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge all of the parents and the grandparents with us here. Today is also an achievement for those who sacrifice and are not here because they have already gone on. I'm talking about grandparents, great-grandparents, people who fought in wars, left home for strange lands, went without dinner and lunch, wore old clothes while they bought new school uniforms for their children. They sacrificed and they sacrificed and they sacrificed and today is their achievement too. And even though they aren't with us to see this day, you with your hat and your gown, uh, this day is what they dreamed of and what they hoped for. And today is their achievement. And today, even though they have gone on and they have passed, we honor them. Today is also an achievement for the dozens and dozens of teachers and counselors and social workers and janitors and bus drivers and cafeteria workers who have wrapped around you, prepared meals for you, cleaned bathrooms for you, prepared lesson after lesson after lesson, who read your essays, who worked hard to get you to the International Baccalaureate Program, who prepared science labs, who read more essays and more essays, who taught you to read, who taught you to recognize the organs of your body, to understand the world and to value your history, uh, who taught you un otro idioma y para leer y escribir en este idioma también. Um, and today is their achievement as well. Cesar Chavez said, that we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about progress and prosperity for our community. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and the needs of others for their sakes and for our own. Here at Kip University Prep, we exist not just so that you can go off to college and get your degree and then get a nice job and make lots of money and have a nice car and nice clothes and nice things and a nice house. Nice things in the end are just things. They pass. What matters most are the people in our lives, our team and our family. These are the things that last. How you take care of your mom when she is sick, how you help out your brother when he loses his job, how you open the door of the doctor's office someday in the future and it's your practice and you're running the place and you find your former teacher sitting there in the waiting room and you find that you can be the one who helps now. 
you find yourself running businesses, you find yourself serving in our nation's military, you find yourself getting elected to public office, you find yourself a teacher. And it is your turn to give back. It is your turn to help. In this way, as we give back, remember your team and family. We are cheering you on as you go on from here, and we are so incredibly proud of you. It has been a tremendous privilege to watch you these past four years, uh, and you all, the class of 2020, will always, particularly now with this global pandemic in this fourth quarter, will always be a class like no other. You have a special place in my heart, and I wish you all the best. Congratulations on your, on our achievement today. Best wishes. Hello, everyone. Before I introduce our superintendent, I would like to take a moment to address my fellow graduates. Class of 2020, you should be so proud of your achievement today. This is one, this is one of many successes we will go on to have in our lives. But what I want us to leave with it is a reminder that your individual success will not give you happiness. Graduating feels great, but that feeling will fade. A challenge will confront you and you'll find yourself chasing another success. The real joy in life comes in genuine community and building lasting relationships. Hello, you prep graduating class of 2020. My name is Alan Smith, and I am the proud regional superintendent for KIPP Texas San Antonio. I was excited to be with you the other day during your graduation parade, and I'm excited to be with you now. I hope you are doing well mentally and emotionally. I hope you are healthy physically, and I hope you have joy in your heart. This time in your lives brings up many emotions especially with all that's going on in our world right now. And some of you might even be in disbelief that this is how your K-12 education is going to end. However it ends, you need to know this. You are special. There have been many graduating classes before you, and there'll be many that come after you, but there will never be another graduating class like 2020. I have prepared a few words for you that I also want you to know. Graduation is not the end of a tough juggle. It's the beginning of a beautiful one. One that has many twists and, and turns, but nothing that you cannot navigate. Your family, your teachers, your school staff, your counselors, your principal have equipped you with all the tools necessary to do great things in this world. Your brilliant academic achievement and social justice achievements have, are already proven that you are making a difference in your community. Keep dreaming with your eyes open and prove to the world that your ethnicity, your race, your gender, your passion, your resilience, your creativity are all needed to make this a more better and just society. Start each day believing this and know that you are going to do great things and that you are destined for great things. Don't get caught up. Your worth is not in material or monetary things. Your worth is in the lives that you impact. So as you prepare for the next phase of your journey in this life, whether it be college, military, trade school, or the workforce. Be confident in your abilities. Do the right thing and never quit. I am really, really proud of you. You are awesome. You are amazing. And you are fearfully and wonderfully made. May God bless you and may God keep you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and fellow classmates of the class of 2020. Before I begin, I would like to express how thankful I am to be granted the honor of speaking on such a memorable day. Also on behalf of all the graduates, I'd like to thank all of those who tuned in today. 
I know our circumstances are a bit peculiar. But now that I have you all here, I'd like to ask, what is the year 2020? A year long awaited, but hardly anticipated would come this soon. A year full of the unknown. Little did we know how unknown it would be. A year that struck fear into the hearts of some and excitement into the hearts of others, but here nonetheless. This is the year we go to college, the year we part ways and wish luck to our friends of seven plus years, the year we gather all the knowledge Kip and our parents have prepared us with and embark on a new journey, a new goal. Let us not dwell on the things that we missed, but look back at the things we experienced with joy and look forward to the memories that await with courage. To thank all of those who have helped me get to this milestone, I'd be asking for too much of your time but I would like to express how grateful I am for my family and my parents. I am everything and anything because of y'all, but there isn't enough gratitude in the world to show my appreciation. And lastly, I'd like to thank Kip Texas for providing me with a team to help me grow and a family to push me to do more. With that being said, I'd like to introduce our Chief Executive Officer of Kip Texas, Sewa Ali. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so, so proud of you and excited to celebrate today your day. You've done it. You've climbed up the first mountain. As you celebrate today, please, please take time to show gratitude. Thank your parents. Thank your community. Thank your friends, your family, your teachers who have helped you climb this first mountain. Seniors, I am so proud of this class. From your time at the very beginning when you started at KIPP throughout your entire journey, you have shown us what courage, grit, strength, and grace looks like. And this last 10 weeks has only amplified your impact. You have face some tremendous challenges. Some of you have had to go to work. Some of you have had to care for family, siblings, others in your family. Some of you have had to just do things that you never had to do before. And through it all, you have continued to show grace, courage, strength, and grit. And class of 2020, we will always remember you for those qualities. As you go off in the world, I encourage you to think about this moment as a defining moment for you in your lives. I encourage you to think about in this moment, what are the things that you wanna leave behind and, and let go of? And what are the things that you wanna take with you and build upon? How are you gonna disrupt inequity? How are you gonna fight for what's right? How are you gonna make positive change in our world? And as you go off to college and career and your next opportunity, I hope that you look back at your time at KIPP with fondness. Know that we love you. We will always be with you to support you. We are so proud of you. Once a KIPPster, always a KIPPster. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Raul Hernandez. I am a graduating senior of the class of 2020, and I'm here to introduce the teacher of the class of 2020, who will be also speaking shortly. Also, I would like to take this time to thank all of the teachers who have helped and have been there for the class of 2020, who have also helped us with our amazing process of being able to reach the goal of our graduation. With our teachers and staff being able to push everyone and make sure everyone stays on track for graduation, it led to a lot of student success. Although it was a long yet short year, all the memories from the school and teachers will be valued. I am here to introduce the next speaker and a great teacher, Mr. Weber. First of all, congratulations to the class of 2020. You've earned this day. And while you are graduating online, I look forward to our eventual graduation in person, knowing that that ritual includes this moment. Now, not addressing the fact that you are watching online would seem insincere. I will say, your teachers and I were extremely disappointed we could not spend these last two months with you. You've worked so hard this year, your teachers included. We're in it together, and we still are. 
But I think what I'm most uh, disappointed for was something that only you could feel. The feeling of walking out of the IB test. Not about your score. Not about what level of mastery. The feeling of having made it. The feeling of thinking and realizing that just maybe you could do more than previously thought. I believe that lesson is invaluable. But now looking back, I think you've had that lesson. I would encourage you then to look back on the last two months and the senior year in general and to make a choice. You can look back on the things you did not have, did not do, or wish you would have. Or you can look back and think about how different you are from when you started and see that difference is growth. Rarely in life do things end up how we think they'll look exactly. That's usually a gift. I think success is often seen as a huge parade where everyone sings your praises, but I believe that's a myth and that success is often falling into your bed after a long day, not knowing if everything you did worked out or not, but knowing that you'll do it again. So I ask you to make the choice and to see the growth, to see the success. And before I let you go, I have one more request, that if you make that choice to see the growth, to see the success, I ask you to share it. Share it with everyone around you. Share it with the students that come after you. Share it with the people you have not met yet. I believe if you make that choice continuously, You'll always be a success. To the class of 2020, congratulations. And now it is my tremendous pleasure on behalf of the faculty and the leadership of Kip University Prep High School, International Baccalaureate World School, that I hereby confer the honor of salutatorian of the class of 2020 on Irving Martinez. Congratulations. Congratulations, Irving. Yeah, thank you. I'm you. Ooh, and then your mom's going to put it on you. Okay. Welcome, students, teachers, and parents. I would like to thank all of you for being here today. Today is a very special day to commemorate the class of 2020. Even though everybody wants a traditional graduation, this will do for now. It's time to turn the tassel and put an end to high school. It's an honor to speak on behalf of the class of 2020. And I thank every single one of you for making my high school years the best time of my life. To begin, Growing up in Guanajuato, Mexico, meant fighting for every single opportunity I could get. It was a challenge I faced on a daily basis. But my eagerness to become someone in life grew tremendously. The challenges motivated me to work towards accomplishing all of my goals in school, at home, or just in life. None of this would have been possible without the support from those around me. I would like to take everyone back to August 2016 when, when we were freshmen. We walked through the UPF campus for the first time. Some of us were really intimidated, others were really excited to start a new chapter of their lives. From the first day to now, we have grown as individuals and we have overcome a lot of challenges. These four years have not been easy for us. We worked as a class to accomplish what seemed impossible. From procrastinating, to no social life, to lack of sleep. These were some of the obstacles we faced, but at the end of the day, we got it done. Sometimes we felt like we couldn't handle schoolwork and having a social life because of internal assessment, CAS requirements, extracurriculars, AP courses, and IV workload. It wasn't easy to get to this point, but all the stress finally paid off. As the years have passed, we grew as citizens and changed the world for the better, and we will continue to do so. I would like to take a few minutes to thank those who have impacted my life positively. 
First of all, I'm extremely grateful for my parents and everything they've done for me. They pushed my potential to the max and set high expectations for me. There's not a single day way when they don't love me unconditionally. I know that they're going to be there for me no matter what and through all my ups and downs. Thank you for everything, mom and dad. To all my teachers I had in the past four years, thank you for believing and supporting me in school. Every day going to class felt like a new adventure. My mind was always curious to learn something new. Not only did I learn derivatives, the history of the Cold War, the life of Derek Walcott, genetics, or La Cultura Hispana, but I built a lifelong habit that will make my college path a total success. My teachers were not just there to teach me, but to empower me um, to become a leader and help my community. They're educating us to become the leaders of this generation. Through the National Honor Society and Hispanic Honor Society chapters, I learned how unfair our world is. I refuse to just stand by and let this continue to happen. The strongest weapon to fight these obstacles is in education. To all my educators I've encountered in my high school career, thank you for providing the life lessons and the tools to carve my future. To all my friends, thank you for the unforgettable memories and unconditional support. Without you all, I wouldn't be in this position right now. From parties to field trips to study groups, um, it was everything I could ask for. The countless laughs were the ones I cherished the most. It was a great pleasure meeting the future engineers, doctors, lawyers, and educators of our generation. Wherever life after college takes you, remember that you are capable of anything. Never hold back on your dreams and always take small steps to accomplish all of your goals. The next stage of our lives is going to shape our future. So make the best out of it and have fun. There's so much that awaits. The college journey is going to be a different life experience. But we are all in this together. Forever and ever, the class of 2020. On behalf of the faculty and leadership of Kip University Prep High School, an international baccalaureate world school. It is my pride and honor to confer the extreme honor, the highest ranking graduate and valedictorian of the class of 2020 on Gerardo Rivera. Congratulations. Okay. Gerardo, huge congratulations. We're so proud of you. Felicidades. It's extraordinary. You worked so hard, and now you're number one. Greetings to the class of 2020, parents, teachers, administration, and everyone else that made it to the first ever virtual graduation at KIPP San Antonio history. Saludos a la clase del 2020, padres, maestros, y todos los demás que pudieron asistir a la primera graduación virtual. As a team and family, we are making the smart choice to not potentially spread this disease any further and thank everyone for their understanding of the decision to hold this graduation virtually. Even though we have spent weeks at home away from friends and family, the class of 2020 has been able to stay close and get their schoolwork done. Well, for the most part. Aunque hemos durado mucho tiempo apartados de cada uno, la clase de 2020 se ha podido mantener muy cerca, como la familia que somos. And if all this time at home taught me anything, it taught me so much about myself. It taught me that I should be grateful for all the time I spent with friends and family having fun as the class of 2020 moves along their journey of life towards college 
Many of us will even go on to live in different cities, taking with them a part of the class of 2020. The beginning of my KIPP story is similar to many of my fellow classmates' beginnings. I still remember how I came to KIPP Camino as a shy 10-year-old boy, unprepared for what the future held for me. We have so many memories together, from class, school trips, events, and even times we made for each other outside of the classroom. En mis ocho años con Kip, he conocido a mucha gente asombrosa, compañeros de clase, maestros, empleados de Kip que siempre me han apoyado, y todos ustedes me han regalado tantas memorias inolvidables. These memories that we value have been captured on our phones, but they've also been engraved in our hearts. These memories include so many firsts with each other too. Our first crush, our first job, first time being pushed out of our comfort zone, our first time writing a 4,000 word essay, or even our first time feeling proud. Todavía hay mucho que no hemos logrado y veo potencial en cada uno de nosotros. This specific class has not always been this close. The senior class came into ninth grade from both Camino and Aspire. And although we had seen it as a competition between both, as years passed by, these two groups started forming friendships that will last a lifetime. During this time of quarantine, our students have been making decisions about our futures. We have different goals that include becoming psychologists, to engineers, to doctors. Esta clase está llena de muchos sueños que sé que todos podemos hacer realidad si continuamos dedicando el tiempo y el esfuerzo necesario. El cielo puede ser el límite, pero realmente el límite no existe. Mi objetivo de obtener solo A's en Jupiter fue difícil. Pasé muchas noches trabajando y días después de la escuela para lograr este objetivo. Realmente agradezco todo el tiempo, los sacrificios y el apoyo que recibí de mi familia por este logro. I didn't realize that this goal of mine would earn me valedictorian. I also didn't realize I was spending some of the best times with my friends. I also attribute my success to the positive environment KB Prep has created. I have come to appreciate all of those who have helped shape me into my best self. I would like to take this time to thank all the teachers that have ever taught me for the class of 2020, preparing for adulthood, learning how to be patient, empathetic, and persevering would not have been possible without the support from our families and teachers that pushed us. We will remember the strong connections that teachers have chosen to create with students, and we will remember how much they rooted for our success. I also want to thank the KTC staff for being there for every single one of us since the beginning of our journey transitioning into college. Their dedication to the class of 2020 can be observed with all the colleges that we were able to apply to, get accepted into, and also get scholarships for. Este siempre ha sido un equipo y pudimos llegar al final de este capítulo en nuestras vidas. Pero ahora es el momento de comenzar uno nuevo. Uno en el que nos esforzamos para no tener miedo, de vivir y cometer errores. Uno donde aprendemos de todas las lecciones que aprendimos en los últimos cuatro años. Porque la vida no se hace más fácil de aquí en adelante. Solo podemos seguir esforzándonos para ser la persona más trabajadora que podamos ser. Y seguir haciendo grandes cosas. So I speak to this class of 2020. Do not feel like you're not good enough for your goals. Because in the end, if you try your hardest and fight for what's right, then you will end up not regretting your choices and learn from them because we are not perfect. Now, it is time to celebrate our hard work. Ahora es tiempo de celebrar nuestro arduo trabajo. We have gone through so much together, and now it is here, the moment many have waited for. Hemos pasado por mucho juntos, y ahora está aquí. El momento que muchos han esperado. The chance to move forward. La oportunidad de seguir adelante. The chance to take another step in this journey we call life. La oportunidad de dar otro paso en este viaje que llamamos la vida. Thank you all for all the great memories. Gracias por todos los buenos recuerdos. No matter how distant we get, we will always be part of the class of 2020 at Cape University Prep High School. No importa la distancia, siempre seremos parte de la clase de 2020 de Keep University Prep High School. The graduating class of 2020. Frida Acosta. Fernanda Aguilar. Amisaday Aguilar. Leticia Amaya. Joseph Araujo. Rosalinda 
Arias, Michael Armendaris, Jasmine Arriaga, Eunice Ávila, Michelle Ávila, Max Bajen Aranda, Cassandra Barrera, Anthony Besa, Jennifer Botello, Paola Camacho, Sean Cárdenas, Romeo Carmona, Tommy Lee Casanova, Gianna Castañeda, Jessica Castro, Rogelio Castro, Raúl Centeno Arnaldi, Ariana Cervantes, Luis Cisneros, Michaela Contreras, Raúl Contreras, Emily Corona, Nathaniel Dávila, Samantha Dávila, Elías de la Torre, Mariah Delgado, Cameron Domínguez, Isaac Durán, Liana Elizondo, Juan Estrada, Miguel Flores, Raúl Galvez, Amberlyn García, Andrea García, Daniel García, Deja García, Emily García, Gray García, Jasmine García, Roberto García, Jesús García Quiroz, Yacel Garza, Victoria Garza, Gabriela Gaitán, Dylan Gómez, Yareli Gómez, Alondra Gómez Cerna, Roman González, Anabel González, Edwin González, Melissa González, Diego Guerrero, Abigail Harwell, Fernando Hernández, Jessica Hernández, Juan Adrián Hernández, Kaylen Hernández, Nazareth Hernández, Raúl Hernández, Jimena Hernández, Ángela Herrera, Cristobela Herrera, Paul Hill, Gabriela Hinojosa Robledo, Cassandra Jiménez, Zoe Jones, Eric Kmanzi, Danielle Kincaid, Joseph Kincaid, Edgardo López, Porfirio López, Preston López, Osman López Quintero, Karime Loredo, Alec Luna, Sean Luna, Eve Lurich, Yahaira Maldonado, Anisa Martínez, Genevieve Martínez, Irving Martínez, Nicolás Martínez, Rudolf Martínez, Jesús Mata Cruz, Skyler Mena, Luis Menchaca, 
Sheila Menchaca. Tamia Menefi. David Miramontes. Daniel Morin. Hassel Morin. Georgina Nava. Iriana Navarro. Laura Padilla. Rodolfo Parra. John Peralta. Mariah Pereira. Andrés Pimentel. Jocelyn Prado. Jimena Puente. Catherine Quiroga. Diego Ramírez. Maricruz Ramírez. Carol Ramírez Holguín. Kimberly Ramón. Amber Rector. Seven Resendez. Regan Resetar. Nathaniel Reyes. Esmeralda Reina. Jaden Reina. Mike O. Rico. Alisa Rios. Daniel Rios. Victoria Rizzo. Gerardo Rivera. Alejandro Rodríguez. Bethany Rodríguez. Brian Rodríguez. Jocelyn Rodríguez. Madeline Rodríguez. Michelle Rodríguez. Tony Rodríguez. Vanessa Rodríguez. Jessica Rodríguez Chávez. Karime Romo Morales. Joe Sagón. Gohan Salazar. Jesús Salazar. Eric Salinas. Abigail Salomón. Christopher Sanchez. John Sanchez. Juan Sanchez. Julie Sanchez. Lucino Sanchez. Ramiro Sanchez. Adrián Sandoval. Darren Sandoval. Martín Santoyo. Andrew Sauceda. Daniel Saucedo. Linda Saucedo Moreno. Cole Saunders. Jeremy Smith. José Solano. José Sorola. Víctor Telles. Daisy Torres. Fausto Torres. Grace Torres. Jessica Torres. Heriberto Treviño. Michael Uribe. Adrián Valdés. Jacqueline Valdés Lozano. Juan Vargas. Manuel Vargas. Anaí Veloz. Christian Ventura. Sebastián Villagómez Espinosa. Jada Williams. José Yáñez. Ángela Zapata. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Bill Boyer, and I'm proud to be the chairman of the KIPP Texas Board of Directors. On behalf of all of my fellow directors, I'd like to congratulate you on meeting this major milestone in your lives. 
high school graduation is really important for not only for you, but for your family and for your teachers, administrators, and friends who have been there with you on this journey to this point. This is just the beginning and you accomplishing your goals and achieving great things in your lives in the future ahead. For now, you have worked really hard uh, to get to this point and it's worth taking some time to celebrate even though we're having to do it in these very strange times. Your class will experience something that nobody has in the past and hopefully won't again in the future. You will be special for it and it'll help you along the way as you learn how to deal with challenges and adversity and still plow through to get to your goals. These diplomas are important and they signify that you've met the academic requirements for graduation, but rest assured they mean a great deal more. As Kipsters, you have committed to a certain level of high academic standards, but you've also committed to the values and social responsibility that you will carry with you into the future as you grow in the next stages of your life. So as you start this next chapter, wish you nothing but happiness and love and joy in your life. Your families and your teachers have prepared you. Most importantly, you've done the hard work and I encourage you to continue to work hard and continue to be nice. You will make us proud as you go on and change the world. So again, class of 2020, best witches and great congratulations from all of us. Hello, my name is Daphne Carter. I am the state superintendent and chief academic officer for Kip Texas Public Schools. Congratulations 2020 on achieving this very important milestone. Earning your high school diploma is the first of what I know will be many wonderful accomplishments in your life. We are super excited to celebrate alongside you today. I want to leave you with a few life lessons. The first is TikTok is fun. It's engaging and will keep you entertained for hours. However, it is not like real life. You won't be able to scroll to the next scene or the next video with a swipe. You will actually have to use your knowledge, your insight, your courage, and your tenacity to build your better tomorrow. So surround yourself with people whose eyes light up when they see you. Slowly is the fastest way to get where you are going. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next, so keep climbing. Be true to yourself and follow your heart. It will never steer you wrong. Know that life never works out the way you plan. So be prepared to just go with the flow, to enter with an open heart and an open mind, because you never know what hand you're going to be dealt next. I know that you will enter into the next phase of your life with courage and tenacity because you've been able to brave through this season. Thank you for that. Once again, congratulations. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors and we look forward to connecting with you very soon in the future. Please, please, Celebrate alongside your family and friends. This is a great accomplishment. We love you and we hope to see you soon. Hello, uh, I'm William Mall. I'm chairman of the board of KIPP Texas San Antonio. And it's a pleasure to join your families, your classmates, your teachers, and all of KIPP's team and family in saying congratulations on achieving this extraordinary milestone, graduation. Earning your high school diploma is the first of what we know will be many significant accomplishments in your life, and we are proud of you. And now, based on your high school academic accomplishments, your school leader has announced that the following listed students have successfully completed our approved course of study and have satisfied all requirements for high school graduation as prescribed by the KIPP Texas Public Schools Board of Directors. 
and accordance with requirements of the state of Texas. In witness thereof, and on the recommendation of the faculty, I hereby declare the KIPP University Prep 2020 class as graduates. You are awarded a duly certified diploma. Congratulations.